Welcome to the final episode of the Wedding Guest series and today I'll be showing you how I style three different looks using pants, trousers, depending where you are in the world. In the UK we say trousers but the rest of the world seems to say pants and so look one we're kicking it off with this monochrome look. I love black and white, it just makes sense. And so I'm kicking it off with these trousers. So I have this strip down the side, which I absolutely love. The thing is I'm Congolese and these trousers are literally Congolese vibe, donk, gagaboy. I literally feel like as a Congolese person, these trousers just make sense. Um, my mom got them for me as a gift and my mom is completely a fashionista. She's so into kind of just being eccentric in her dressing. And when she got me this, I said, yes, just yes and i love how it's able to be paired with this blazer that i already had from a completely different look but when i put this long blazer on it is a vibe a whole vibe um for the insert i decided to style it with this black bodysuit um which i love bodysuits are the way forward especially if you don't want your underwear to ever be shown the fact that you actually have to do them up at the bottom is just excellent it means that you can lift your hands up for worship you can be dancing the best way you know how to and you will never see your backside be exposed to the ruffles on the shoulders that just gives nice drama and i love it because when you put the blazer on you get a certain look you get the colorless vibe you get the white on the top with the black trimmings and the black at the bottom and i'm just like yes just love how comfortable this look is and it just suits my lifestyle even with mommy life like i can run around for after the toddler and i'm good it was off a primark and it came with this gold buckle and i loved it but then i thought i need to do something because i want to be able to switch it up the heels are so comfortable it's like a classic black shoe and so that's what i put the ribbon on it however when you take the ribbon off you can go back to how it originally came which is this gold detailing so it's like hints of gold in the look you know, got it in my earrings i've got it in my wedding ring and then i've also got it now on the clutch bag same black clutch bag and also in the heels and this look is just oh it's just me all over it's when i want to give edgy vibes it's when i want to i want to change it up i want to look just stylish but i, I just for me it just gives me congolese vibes i can't even lie this is the kind of look i'd wear to a congolese party in fact i've even worn it to a congolese wedding before and I love the fact that with the trousers, I'm actually able to completely do it up. But sometimes because my calves are quite thick, even though I'm quite slim, my calves are thick. So sometimes opening it up just gives my my leg a better breathing space for dancing and for moving around. And it just looks like a style altogether. Look is just everything for me. Now look number two is this black power shoulder jumpsuit from Pretty Little Thing. Now it came with quite a large V dip at the front which I can sew but for the purposes of this video and just to show you if you don't know how to sew a safety pin can support your life um I don't like rolling around and having my clothes um showing my cleavage so I know some ladies don't have any issues with it they're like it's just breasts for me it's not just breasts I'm like listen this is not for people to be seeing all up in the internet all up in the world so by doing this it's just it gives me the coverage I need um, for my chest area and now with this jumpsuit the shoulders the power shoulders it just gives it an elevated style overall and just to kind of complement the look um i decided to you know you can do it with black earrings or you can do it with gold earrings it's completely up to you both work very well for different reasons you can do an all black look or you can do a hints of gold again similar to look one where you pick up the gold accessories now one of the things that i do with this particular jumpsuit is the legs of the trousers are very straight now this works for some looks and you could just have it over the gold detailing and you can just see the front part of the heels but i decided to change it up a little bit just because it's me and also i'm like i want to see the detail of the gold shoe completely so what i did is i just took some hair bands through each leg and then i take the actual fabric and roll it into the actual um hair bands to create this look it kind of has a pulled effect it allows the jumpsuit to hit me right on my ankle exactly where i want it to hit and it means that it just completes the look in the way i needed it to sh for me to show up now you this is a step that's optional but i wanted to show you fully how i would style myself in this jumpsuit for a wedding i felt like when i just put it on as is and it covered the gold it kind of just made it look like i'm just wearing black shoes and it just made it look samey samey and i don't like looking like just 
I don't know, samey, samey. This is an edgy look on purpose. And because I'm wearing a jumpsuit of this sort, I want it to have that edge. So for me, pulling it in on the ankles, we're using a hairband, reminds me of sort of this detailing of the shoulder, the power shoulder. And then there's the look. The look is complete. Now, if you want to take it another step forward, you can even, you know, use more um, accessories to kind of style it up. So I played around with it. So I have these gold necklaces and I have two of them. So I decided to actually hook them onto it themselves to create this and then put it over my head and then literally this is the look this reminds me of like a particular type of era but i can't remember it right now but it just gives me this kind of i don't know afrocentric vibe or something um with the hair with everything pulled together so this is another look if you were kind of daring you want to switch it up you can always use the necklace um, like this and put it at the front and at the back um, but for this look I decided to do it without the necklace but I just wanted to show you the options of how you can literally change the game if you want to get creative of how you style yourself and last but not least I have this burnt orange job suit which I've styled before on the ground for those that have seen it and I had to bring it back because again this is just a, a classic number for me it's when I want to do color so I want to be edgy I want to be feminine and I just want to be bold. This is the type of jumpsuit I'm wearing. And the jumpsuit can be dressed down or dressed up. I think for the way I styled it before, it was very casual. I kind of wore it with like sandals and it's a really cute look for summertime vibes. But I think that this jumpsuit can be dressed up to be wedding guest worthy with a few edits. So first of all, I'm taking my same safety pin in order to just pin at the front of this jumpsuit in order to cover up the, the kind of cleavage exposure or the v-neck that's too deep. Using a, um, a safety pin and pinning it from the inside like this means it's safely hidden underneath one of the lapels of the jumpsuit. But it looks really nice on the outside. You don't even know that's happening. That's number one. Number two is tying in the belt that it came with. Now the belt can you could either change it to a completely different belt, but I chose to use the same belt because I want to keep that kind of monochrome look on the jumpsuit. But I'm just playing with the accessories around it. So the same clutch bag, same bag, but I'm using it again with the gold accessories. I did try it with the ribbon and I felt like the ribbon was giving me super girly vibes, whereas this jumpsuit is very edgy and I wanted to keep the edge so I decided to wear the shoes in its original form with the gold detailing and again I decided to pull in the uh, like the bottom of the trousers by using the same kind of hack as I did in look two by using a hairband in order to cinch in the bottom of the trousers in order to skip this look in order to see the fullness of the outfit and it's comfortable and it's edgy with the hair like honestly this jumpsuit is so me and i love that i can dress it up and dress it down i can pretty much dress down most of these looks um but i love the way that these can be dressed up for wedding guest season and it just means that you don't have to keep buying new clothes but you know how to switch it up if you need to i could have even added a belt i chose not to on this occasion but this is how I do it. I switch up my looks just based on little things, little details that make a massive difference. Which is your favorite? Look one, the black and white monochromic look, which is just so classic, so chic, edgy. Is it look two, the all black jumpsuit with all of its edge when add a hint of gold? Or is it number three for you, the burnt orange and just, you know, just the way that it falls and the way that it is? I think I would pick look one. I think look one for me is just like, oof, oof yeah that's what look one says to me so i think i'd go for look one but all of them i would wear because these are all clothes that are in my wardrobe they're all clothes you would see me wear and wear again because i am a firm believer in we wearing my own clothes i bought it because i liked it so i'm gonna wear it and wear it again i don't care if i've taken a picture you will see me re-wearing my clothes because this is real life this is real life okay Please like, comment, subscribe, share this with more ladies, share the whole series with somebody who needs to be inspired on how they can elevate pieces that are already in their wardrobe or how they can, you know, dress modest, dress classy, dress chic in a way that represents who it is that they want to be known for, how it is they want to show up. I wanted to share this with you to just inspire you. So if you've been inspired, please share it with more people and I will see you in my next video.